In this tutorial animation, we'll be creating a pick-and-place robot application using the RoboLogic simulation software package from Logic Design. Our objective is to create a program that will pick up a box from the end of Conveyor 1 and place it onto Conveyor 2. With the application open, we can click on Camera 3 to get a better understanding of our environment. We'll move a box to the end of conveyor 1 and once it's in position we'll pick it up and have the robot arm move it over to conveyor 2. We'll now take a moment and review the general steps for creating any robotics program using RoboLogix. The first step in this process is to identify and list the actions required to execute the desired task. This includes actions such as moving the robot arm, starting or stopping a conveyor, as well as opening and closing the gripper. In addition to listing the physical actions, we also have to identify and list the gripper positions required to perform our desired task. Once we have what constitutes a general outline for our program, we move on to create and name a new program file. We're now ready to enter the sequential commands or instructions required to execute the desired task. Lastly, we locate and store the appropriate gripper positions required to perform our task. These positions get stored in the position register. In step one of the process, we've identified 12 basic actions to be taken in order to perform our desired task. As in most applications, we begin our program by moving the robot arm to the home position. We then start conveyor one and wait until the box is in position. Once the box is in position, we move the gripper and robot arm above the box on conveyor 1. Next, we move the TCP or tool center point of the gripper down to the midpoint of the box. We then want to close the gripper to grab the box. We now lift the box by moving the gripper above conveyor 1. Next, we move the gripper to a location above conveyor 2. We then lower the gripper down to a location just hovering above conveyor 2. Next, we release the box to drop it on the second conveyor. We then lift the robot arm above conveyor 2. Lastly, we return the robot arm to the home position. Having completed our list of physical actions, we move on to list the four positions or stopping points for the gripper. The four required positions are easily identifiable. We need to move the arm and stop it directly above the box on conveyor 1. We then have to move the gripper down to a location that allows us to grab the box from conveyor 1. The next location is directly above conveyor 2. The last required location is the location from which we're going to drop the box onto conveyor 2. Now that we've completed steps 1 and 2, we essentially have a general outline for our program. We'll now move on and create a program file and populate it with instructions. With the RoboLogix application opened, we click on the program button to bring up a list of available programs. We then click on the new button to begin a new program file. When the dialog box opens, we enter a desired program name. We've started this program name with AA to ensure it appears at the top of the list of available programs. Once the program name is entered, we click on OK to create the program file. Our newly created program now appears in the list of available programs for selection. We click on the line number of the new program to select it. With the desired program line selected, we click on the load button to load the program file. Click on the OK button located in the load program dialog box to confirm the selection. The newly created program file is now available for populating. We click on the new button to begin adding instructions to our empty program file. The program line entry dialog box now appears listing the available instructions. According to our outline, the first action we wish to take is to ensure the robot arm is in the home position. We therefore click on the home button to add this instruction to the program. 
Each instruction added to the program allows the user to enter a comment regarding the instruction. As we don't desire to add a comment at this time for this line, we simply click on the OK button to confirm this selection. The home instruction now appears as the first line of our new program. Moving on, we click on the new button to add the next instruction in our program. Our outline dictates that the next line should start conveyor 1. We click on the conveyor 1 button to bring up the conveyor control dialog. The Conveyor 1 Command Setup dialog box allows the user to define three different actions, Forward, Reverse, and Stop. The default setting is Forward, so all we need to do here is click OK to add the instruction. The Conveyor 1 Forward instruction will bring a box to the end of Conveyor 1. We once again click on the New button to add the next instruction for our program. The next instruction we wish to add is a wait instruction. This will allow the box to get to the end of conveyor 1 prior to moving the robot arm. We click on the wait button to add this instruction. The wait command dialog box now appears. This dialog box allows the user to define the wait period. For the purpose of our illustration, we'll set the wait period to 12 seconds. Once the value is set, we click on the OK button to confirm the instruction and add it to our program. We'll now take a moment and run the program in its current state. We'll continue adding new command line instructions in part two of this tutorial series. To run our newly created program, we click on the main button to bring up the main panel. We then click on the run button to begin program execution. We can return to the main panel by clicking on the main program button. We can then modify the camera view angle to get a bird's eye view of the box moving down the conveyor. Our existing program file has been saved as we created it. We can therefore close the application and reload and continue editing the program in our next tutorial. For more information regarding the RoboLogic simulation software package or any of the other simulation packages offered by Logic Design, contact us at the email, toll-free number, or website shown here.